Good morning guys, my name is Vandolf. In this video we will create a GUI for our library system. But before we create our GUI, let us first organize our project. So let's open up Eclipse, as I did right here, and I'm going to create a new workspace. I'll call my workspace um, library, I don't know, uh, with GUI. Hit enter. All right. Now let's uh, make a new Java project. Oh, just in case you're wondering, we're not going to rewrite everything from scratch. We're just going to copy and paste our code into a new project just because um, we want to make it neater. So the project name is going to be uh, same thing, library. And hit finish. In our source code, go ahead and right click and select new package. Now what I do for my packages, I usually put com dot my uh, email name. My email is vstrel at zero vstrel zero zero at gmail dot com. So I'm just gonna put vstrel zero zero. Um, you can name your package whatever you want but this is what I usually name mine and then I usually put my uh, project name which is library so library so com.vstrel00.library zero zero dot library is my package name I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit finish so now hold on one second so now we have our package. Inside this package, we're going to create three other packages. And we're going to be using the model view controller uh, method of organizing data. It's my favorite way of organizing data, and I strongly encourage you to get used to using the model view controller uh, organization. So let me let me get you started on that. Go ahead and right click on your uh, root package and select new package. We're gonna uh, we're gonna add a dot and then model. Finish. Again, right click on your root package. Select new package. Dot. I'm going to create a package for the uh, the view. Hit finish. Again, we're going to create another package. We're going to create a package for the controller. Hit finish. And now we have all the uh, all the packages that we need. Now let's go ahead and open up our previous workspace, the workspace that you uh, that you had your project on. Um, my previous workspace was uh, the library workspace. Library. We're just going to transfer some of our some of our existing files, copy and paste that over to our new project. So this is what we got. Now, we're going to put the book inside the model package, the library inside the model package, because these are the two data that are being manipulated by our controller in which case at the moment its main system oh and also the vim.java is also part of a model 
and as you can see uh, we don't have a view yet and that's what we're going to create so go ahead and open up book uh, vim.java and copy all of this so press control a then control c for copy all and then go on over to our new workspace to our new pack to our new uh, project and go ahead and right click on model package and select new class and we're copying over the vim class so name is vim finish and just uh, highlight this and click control V for paste then save it <clears throat> now it's giving us a warning message over here it says add default serial version so let's do that and just delete this now what a default serial version I, uh, UID is it's just used for serialization and deserialization you don't need to provide it uh, the uh, the Java compiler will assign a default version UID for you when it's doing the serialization and deserialization again you need this because this object is serializable okay, I, but sorry you don't need it but you can choose to put it yourself and if you want to know and if you want to know more about what this serial version version UID is then you, you guys can Google it up I'm not going to talk about it here it's basically it's just used for serialization and deserialization just, just know that and you can assign it any number that you want I'm just going to leave it as one doesn't, it doesn't really matter I mean I don't think it matters unless unless you're debugging hardcore and you know you're debugging when uh, at runtime then you're serializing the object is being serialized then you're you know doing some hardcore uh, pro stuff but if you're not then just you really don't need it but if you choose to add it just you know set it to one it doesn't I don't think it matters okay next we need to add our copy over our book.java so just open that and copy all head on over to our new uh, project right click on the model new class class book finish again highlight this and then paste it here and then just add the uh, so we don't get that warning now we need to copy over our library.java open up library control A control C and I'm sorry if you guys are not a Windows user I know I'm saying Windows command, but well, that's your fault if, not, if you're not using Windows. Right click on model, new class, class library. Finish. I like this. Paste it in. Get rid of the warning. now we have all the model classes that we need and let's see if uh, we can copy over anything else um, main system.java nope that's pretty much it that's all we need to copy for now I know I said that this is the controller but we're actually gonna just leave this over here and don't get me wrong we're gonna use it and open it up the, just copy some stuff from this some methods copy the methods over to our new project but right now we don't have a controller for this yet 